Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how and why to use NPM Link. So, NPM Link is a great tool for um, a larger development project. So, basically, NPM Link is for when you have a one application, one JavaScript application that's running uh, your main application, and then maybe you have like a component library over here that's a separate repo and you want to be able to use code that's in your separate repo in your main application, um, but you don't want to have to publish your, your separate repo. Um, you don't want to have to keep updating that repo every time you make a change just to be able to use it in your main application. NPM Link is a great way to be able to use that library or that component library in your other application um, all with using hot reloading and so it's very synchronous so you update your library and it updates your main application code and you can really have a good development environment before you push things up to production uh, so to get things started right now I just have a basic react application um, and I have two uh, repos uh, open so this first one I'm going to show you this is my component library and you'll know that because there's a rollup config. So it's using rollup to build the library. Um, we're not going to go into that configuration today, but basically all you need to know is that there is a button component that comes out of here. Um, but it's not published to any NPM registry. I don't want to have to set that up until I know this button is what I want to use. So as you can see, um, this button is just using basic styles. So an example here, this uh, repo is called WTP-lib, so web.profesh-lib. This is my component library. And essentially, I want to use this button everywhere in my main application. Maybe I have multiple different applications where I want to share this styled button. So in my main application, this is just a straight out the box React, uh, create React app. Um, so ideally, without using npm link, I would want to do m import button from uh, wdp-lib. Problem is, this doesn't exist in the node modules because it's not a published library. So this wouldn't work. Um, so what we got to do first is we got to link it. Uh, so typically, you'll just do npm link. However, sometimes there's issues where, depending on where your project is, you might not have access to uh, basically create like a portal between this place and your global uh, wherever the npm link is linking it to. So what if you try npm link and let's see if I'll get the error. Uh, while, while this is kind of what happens when you do npm link is it installs it, it builds it, and then it puts it in a global spot. Usually this global spot is in like your slash user directory slash node modules. And then when you go over to your application, the library where you want to use it, uh, then you just do npm link and then the name of that library as published in the package.json, wgp-lib. So if I did npm link wtp-lib, what it's going to do is going to look in that same global uh, file space where npm link is going to put itself and it's going to extract this wpp-lib from that global file space. So what happens sometimes is when you do npm link, you might not have access to that global file space depending on how your system's set up. Um, so let's see if it works for me. It does work for me, probably because I've already done it before. But if you get an issue saying you don't have access to this, all you gotta do is just put a sudo right before. Uh, so let me just cancel this. Uh, so if I were to just do sudo npm link, and put in your password. Um, that that should fix the problem for you. If not, you can. There's a bunch of Stack Overflow uh, links that you can Google for, search for. You'll figure it out. All right. So once this links uh, again, so it should actually already be linked because I just did it right before I did it a second time. Uh, you'll go into your your application where you want to use it. And you'll just do npm link wdp-lib or whatever the name is in your package.json file. We'll do that. And now we should be able to have access to this uh, node module. So now we'll just change this uh, learn react to our button. Oops. Like so. 
we'll save that and then that's actually what, um, what we're going to do we're going to do npm run watch sorry npm run start my build script is taken quite long in my library so it linked it and you can see it's building it and actually it's probably taking a little bit longer because I'm also recording at the same time so my CPU usage is quite high so apologies for the slowness same thing with uh, running the application it's taking a while there we go so okay now look now you can see that button is in there and even though we don't have it specified as a dependency in our package.json uh, you'll see it's it's not there um, yeah, there's only these three, so we're not even using it as a dependency. However, we can still look and see what it's like using npm link. Now, obviously, when you publish this, uh, this library has to be public, and you will need it in your dependencies. But npm link will override any dependencies that you have. So let's say you already published this uh, component library. When you do npm link, your local changes will override whatever is published. So no need to worry there. Now let's get to the cool part where um, we're going to update the library directly and you're going to see the hot reloading happen on this React application. So if we go to the library and let's just go to our button file and let's just say for whatever reason, whatever dumb reason, we wanted to add a caret here in all of our buttons. So now what's happening, uh, we got to run the build script here, npm run start. So this is going to watch for changes such as this. Whenever the change happens, then it's going to rebuild it. NPM link is going to basically update that global uh, space that we had. And then the application is going to detect that update in your library. And it's going to re-render your application uh, with the changes. So now you can see that carrot is in there. And now let's, uh, let's remove it. And now we have our build. We move the carrot and it's going to rebuild here and it's going to recompile in your application as well and now if we look now it's gone now let's see if we can do a loop let's just say minus minus space we saved it and now we saved it there we go and now you can see the minus minus so that's it that's how you use npm link i hope this video was helpful um, like I said, it's mainly for when you have two different um, repos, our code repos, one being like a library that exports some bundle and the other one that consumes that bundle. It's useful for when you don't want to have to push this library up to production in order to pull it down. You can just create this link in between two different local libraries. So hope this video helped. Leave a comment down below what you want to see if you have any trouble. Uh, but if you have any questions, like this video, subscribe for more. I'll be uh, coming out with some more content um, in this kind of fashion. So let me know what you want to see. See ya.